So hi there guys, so welcome to this, the third part in the mini-series about moving data to, from and around Unraid. And in this third part we're going to be moving data using the tool rsync. So if that sounds interesting, then let's get started. Okay, so moving on from the last part where we looked at moving data with Crusader, now we're going to take a look at the first command line tool for moving data, an absolutely awesome tool called rsync. Now I can almost hear you new users going, oh no, not command line. But I tell you, using rsync is actually amazingly simple. But if you haven't watched the first part of this video series, where I look at the Unraid file system, I suggest just quickly watching that, because having an understanding of the file system will definitely make it easier going forward from this point. Now rsync has some great advantages. When rsync copies files, it can keep the timestamps, the permissions of files, and moving data from one location to another. And rsync also, it will just copy the differences between the two locations. So say you have folder A and folder B. Folder A has say 10 files in it, whilst folder B is empty. If we copy the data from folder A to folder B, then obviously folder B will be a duplicate of folder A. But then if we modify one of the files in folder A and also add another file, so there's now 11 files there, and then we run rsync again, well it will copy the modified file over to folder B and also the new file. So again, both folders will be identical. And the great thing is, is that rsync will do this without having to copy all of the files over. It just copies the new files and any files that have been modified. So it's this very feature that makes rsync ideal to be able to transfer data over our network from an old NAS we might have, or maybe an old Windows PC. Basically anything on the network where we don't want to have to take the hard drive out and connect it directly to the Unraid server, rsync is going to be the best choice. Now just to recap, in the last video when we were talking about Crusader, I mentioned the problems that we can have when copying data, say directly from a Windows computer, over the network to an Unraid share, should for any reason the transfer stop halfway. So I'm going to quickly rewind and just show you what I mean. Or on the Windows machine itself, I could copy the folder, then go across to the network and copy it directly to the server. Now this is all very well and good, but what happens if halfway through the actual data transfer fails? So I'll just simulate that by just cancelling the copy now. So some of the files have transferred across, and some of them haven't. And so it'd be difficult for me to know what's been copied and what hasn't. And to be sure I got everything, I'd probably have to start the copy again, overwriting all of the files that have already been sent across. Now that's not the end of the world if it's just a few gigs. But what happens if it's two or three terabytes? Well, that's a different story. But there's a much better way to transfer data across the network, and that's using something called rsync. Okay, so let's use that something, fast forward back to this video, and make a start. Now rsync is native to Linux, but it isn't found on Windows. So we can't run it from Windows to one of the shares on the Unraid server. So we need to run rsync actually on the Unraid server itself, and when copying data over a network, we need to mount that network share on Unraid to enable us to be able to leverage it with rsync. So that's actually why in the last video when looking at Crusader, I went to the trouble of creating the Windows share and linking to it with Unraid, so later in this video I could copy data with rsync. So in this video we're going to copy data across the network with rsync from a Windows share. Now if you haven't seen the previous video where I make a Windows share and connect to it from Unraid, then you'll see that part in the last video dead on the 10 minute mark. So if you want to copy data across the network from a Windows PC to Unraid, then I suggest you watch that part first before going forward. But if you just got data you want to copy across from another NAS on the network, then you don't really need to watch that part. So let's go back across onto the Unraid server and use rsync to copy some data. OK, so on the Unraid server, let's have a look at the share that's remotely connected. So if I go onto desktop here, here's the folder data for Unraid, which I want to copy across. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy the location here, and I'm going to bring up a text editor, 
And in the text editor, I'm going to type rsync, then a space, and then hyphen a v h, and then space, and then I'm going to copy the location in here. But because the space is in the name, like you see here, data for unraids, three separate words with a space, I'm going to need to put it in quotations. So I'm going to put quotations and then paste that location in. So we've got rsync space hyphen avh quotations, then the location of the source, what I'm copying from, and then I'm going to put a space. And now I'm going to go to the shares folder here and I want to copy it into this share here, the data share. So if I click onto view, then here I can see the location of this share. So I want to copy it into here. So I'm going to copy the location, go back to my text editor. Now, even though there's no spaces, I'm still going to put it in quotations and I'm going to paste the location. So the command I've got is rsync space hyphen avh and then in quotations the source, then a space, then in quotations the destination. So I'm going to copy this and now open up a terminal window here and paste that in. OK, so all I need to do now is press enter and we can see all of the data transferring across. OK, so it's finished. We can see here that 11 gigs have transferred across and everything's done. OK, so if we close this now and if I refresh this page inside this share, we can see here now there's that folder data for unraid and all of the data is inside. And we can see here there's 551 objects, three directories and 548 files. Now the great thing about rsync is that if for any reason the copy stops, we can just run the command again and it will know what's copied across and what hasn't and sync up the two folders to be the same. OK, so I'm going to copy the data exactly the same again, but this time I'm going to copy it into the movie share and stop the copy going halfway through. So I'm going to copy this location here and bring up my text editor again. Now obviously the source is the same because I'm still copying from Windows, but the destination, I'm going to delete this out and change it to this location here. OK, so let's copy the command, open the terminal window again and paste the command in and press enter to run it and let everything start copying it across. Then I'm going to cancel it by closing the terminal window halfway through. OK, so if I refresh this page, we can see the folder data for unraids here and it's got a partial copy inside. 100 objects, 3 directories, but only 97 files. OK, so let's go back to the terminal window and I'm going to run the same command again. So what rsync's going to do is it's going to copy the folder and all its contents again, but the things that were copied across earlier that were half completed, it won't need to copy those again, so it'll miss them out and only bring across the missing items. So rsync's really useful for copying really large folders, because should anything go wrong, we can just carry on from where we left off. OK, so everything's done. So let's close this window and go into the movie share, data for unraid, and let's scroll down. And we've got 551 objects, three directories, and 548 files. So it's a perfect match, and all the files are now there. So yep, as we can see, rsync is a very simple, but very useful and powerful tool. Perfect for both copying and synchronizing files and directories, not only locally, but also across the network between different computers. So this makes rsync the ideal tool to use when you've got a new server and you need to transfer data to it when you can only access that data over the network. Now there's much more to rsync than what I've mentioned in this video. If you want to learn more about rsync, then just Google it. Or you can see an article on this website here, linuxscrew.com forward slash rsync. OK, so the next method we're going to look at is how to move and copy files using what I call a root share. Now, as these videos have now been split up into parts, then I'm sorry, you're going to have to wait till the next video to see about a root share. But don't worry, you're not going to have to wait very long because the rest of these videos are all going to be uploaded over the next 24 hours. But for now, if you like this video, then please hit the like button. And if you're new to the channel, then please subscribe. And to all of my Patreons and supporters who are watching, thank you so much guys for all of your support, I really appreciate it. And if anyone watching would like to join those great bunch of people and help support the channel, then please see the links in the description below. 
Anyway guys, it's time for me to go now, but whatever you're up to for the rest of the day, I hope it's good, and I'll catch you in the next video.